the stuff that you've been through is all just pieces on the tape. Y'all yeah. okay. with me? Stay with me. It's pieces on the tape. All right. My mama them hurt me. Right. The church hurt me. Yeah. Folks in the street hurt me. Yeah. Uh, I hurt some folk. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I did some folk wrong. Yeah. I lied on some folk. Right. I missed some folk. Yeah. I persecuted some folk. Yeah. Some folk wasn't even, some stuff wasn't even my fault. But all of it together, somebody say, it had a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. See, it all had a purpose. Yeah. It all had a purpose. Come on, Romans 8 to 8. It all had a purpose. Oh, yeah. I was in a certain place at a certain time to run to a certain purpose. Yeah. It's all about purpose. You're here tonight for a purpose. Yeah. We're not just here to support Derek and Tiffany Gillespie. We're not here because I ain't got nothing else to do tonight. We're not here because we're religious fruitcakes. Mm -hmm. We're here for a purpose. Yes. God is doing something in our life. Yes. And we're connected together. Yes. But you got to catch on by faith. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Romans 8, 28. And we know. And we know. That all things. All things, my good, my bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Work together. It's working together. For good to them. And for good for me. That love God. Because I love God. Yes. Keep going. To them who are called. Uh -huh. According to his purpose. See, when, it's, when I'm working according to his purpose. Okay. Now, when I'm called according to his purpose. Everything in my life is working for my good. Did you catch that? Yeah. It ain't working for my good if I ain't called to his purpose now. All right, all right, all right. See, we got a lot of time we be saying that religiously. No, it's working for my good when I'm in the will of God. Why? Because when the devil in my back here turning for my good. Why? Because I'm working for his purpose. He don't make nothing without a purpose. The child don't even breathe, but he got a purpose. All right, all right. So this season, true fulfillment and prosperity and peace yes. is connected to purpose. And if I got a purpose, I might have to do a few things that I don't want or don't like before yeah. I can learn what I do like. Mm -hmm. Not working with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So faith come by here. Yeah. My ears got to be tuned up, turned up as they say out there. Yeah. Faith come by yeah. here. here. Faith come back. Hear it. So I got to be wide open in the Holy Ghost. I got to be sensitive. Oh my God. I was talking to Miss Linda, but I heard what they said. You hold on. I think I got my word from the Lord. What did you just say? Did you catch that? You got to be so amped up in this night. Not distracted. Not distracted. You got to be sensitive. You got to know your word. I may be prophesying to Miss Wonder, but if that's your word, you better snatch it by faith. Because faith come by hearing. So if faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God, what is the devil going to attack? My hearing. Why? Because you can be set right up under Jesus Christ and don't hear nothing. Faith come by what? And hearing by what? Let's go to Hebrews 5. Because see, in this season, you're going to need to be hearing what God is saying. Come on, prophet. And God, God got game too. Come on now. God got game. So he'll just put it out there. You got to figure it out. I'm going to give you a piece of it. I'm going to give you a part of it. Okay. And as you keep going, as you keep hearing, Right. You get the other part. Yeah. As you keep going, I give you another part. Right. As you apply this, I give you another part. Yeah. See, it's step by step by step. Right. And see, we try to get all the instructions in one day. Right. God give it all to me now. Okay, I need to go 30 day fast. I need to sow a hundred dollars. I need to spin around ten times. I need to no eat no bread. We want 17 instructions in one time. Right. Y'all know that ain't gonna work. So we gotta do it one at a time. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, I say go. Let's go to Hebrews five, y'all. See, you gotta be so sensitive. Yeah. And I'm telling y'all, what's on the head flow down to the bottom. I can get. I don't care. I can get. I can get 
I can go in a service. I don't care who preach. When I hear my word, when I hear my word, yeah, it ain't even predicated on how to preach. See, we looking at the wrong stuff. We looking for entertainment. We looking for performance. When we need to be looking for the word. My word. My word. My word. Make it personal. My word. It's my word. Okay. Why? Because faith come back. Yeah. So I got to make sure what I'm hearing yeah. is the word. I got to protect my ear gate. I got to protect my eye gate. Yeah. I got to try the spirit by the spirit. Mm -hmm. See, I don't care who preaches. I can get a word. If, if, if he's using the word, yeah. I'll get a word. He be cricket, stealing money, lying, doing everything, and can say one scripture that hit my. Come on down. That's my word. I don't care about the rest of this stuff. Come on down. See, we gonna be in the right place at the right time with the right people. We got to be here. We got to hear which direction to go in. You know what? I don't know how to hang out at the church, but God said I need to be over there tonight. Come on down. And if I need to be over there, it's a word for me tonight. Yeah, all right. You feel? Yeah. You got, he said the steps of a good man is order. Right. Order. Yeah. So you got to hear which way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we at? Hebrews 5. See, we done went to another level. So as we done went to another level, guess what? God's voice is getting softer. Mm. See, we use a baby, I'm screaming at you. Son, get here! Yeah. You ten years in that. Yeah. 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 And the greater manifestation, I'll be flowing in. Why? Because he looking for somebody that's going to listen and obey. So you can go for a seat. I've been talking to you. I've been talking to you. I've been calling your name. You have not listened. Now I talk to somebody else. Then. See, this season, this, within these next seven years, and it's a progressive progression taking place. You're not even going to even believe you can hear God like you finished the iron. You'll be like, yes. Hold on, you talking to me? Is this God? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> See, yes. the Bible said this gospel is for whosoever we yes. See, yes. you know what I love about Creflo Dollar? Creflo Dollar was giving his testimony. And he said, he said, guess what God told me one day? He said, God told me I was not his first choice. Or I was not his first pick. Yes. Did you catch that? Yeah. He said, God told him, you was not my first pick. In other words, I had picked several other guys to do what you doing. Yes. When I just said, on. Come on now. Yes. I picked some other people to do what I called you to do. But for whatever reason, it's your turn. Somebody say it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Grandpa said, if I got all this, and that wasn't the first choice. God, if you're doing this for me, I wasn't the first choice. Oh, my God. Faith come out here. Hearing about the word of God. Hebrews 5, pick up at verse 9. And being made perfect. He became the author of eternal salvation. Uh -huh, I'm talking about Jesus. Unto all them that obey him. You got to obey him. Keep going. Called of God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Uh -huh. Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. See, God said you've been in church so long. Wow. And you've heard so many sermons. Wow. You should be a teacher by now. Wow. 
Why well, he said, well, I got to teach you again. Because of Dove are here. Why? Because she was Dove are here. Come on. I hear you, Lord. He's like, my red strip, the priest, that, that message like 10 times. It's the word of God. If you heard it 10 times, you should have got 10 revelations. Yes. 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 Come on, that 10 different revelations. Yeah. But if you like, I hate to carry that same text again. Here you go again. Oh, he preached that every year about this time. You do it here. I hear it, but I don't want to hear that. I'm here, but I ain't listening. I'm here, but I'm on the iPad. I'm miss her, but I'm on Instagram. Why? Because I'm doing it here. Well, if I'm doing here, that means my faith is not being built. Because faith come by and yeah. hear about. So I don't care if he preached the same message every every day. You should get a different revelation from it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You, uh, come on, Paul B. <clears throat> Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Uh -huh. And are become such as have need of milk okay. and not of strong meat. Verse 13. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful uh, in the word of righteousness. Why? For he is a babe. So it said everyone that uses milk is unskillful. Mm -hmm. If you still talk about uh, uh, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray you love my son of the king. Then I die before I wake. Jesus. If you still on that level, you are skillful. Oh, now. I ain't nothing happening in your life. Now that's cool if you come through the door like that. But if you've been inside at least five years, something should be changing in your life, in the Word of God. You should not still be praying the same prayers. You should be still expecting the same stuff. You should not still be resting with the same skin. At some point you should grow. What your baby girl look like? Uh, 20, that's my daughter. She's 23. I'm still getting her similar. Yeah. Right. Come on now. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by what? Right. See. Let's go to Acts 28. Acts 28. See, I got to hear. It. So when God give me one of them powerful revelations. Then my situation can change. See, I don't believe in God for, I call it a Facebook revelation. See, it don't really matter how, much, how good your church attendance is. If you get a revelation from God, it's not wrong in it. Some stuff going to change. Here go the guy from Facebook. I recently started for college students. See, I'm talking about purpose again. Somebody say purpose. Purpose. Here go and got go to college. Okay, I'm in college. I'm sitting there, I got nothing to do. Let me see. How can I connect other kids from college that's away home from college? How can I come up with a, with a way for them to connect with their homeboys and homegirls from their city, but while they're still in college? Purpose. What was the purpose? To connect communication. That was the purpose. Okay. So Facebook started out being for college students. Strictly college students. You had to be going to college to be on Facebook. See, I'm talking about purpose. Then I say, when you take one step, come on now. So it started out for college students. A reason. Bang. God increased that thing. Okay. This big in college. Son, I'm going to let you test the world through this revelation. And guess what? It didn't it, it did cost a dime. It don't cost nothing. Then I tell you, if you keep chasing money, you're going to miss money. Wow. When you chase purpose, money run out to you. So the boy started Facebook. I'm sitting there looking at a video on, on YouTube the other day. See, it's all about purpose. We can just tap in to what's on the inside. The boy's showing a video. Boom, he got this great big office up in New York or wherever he is. It's up on the top floor. When he come through the door with the cameras, it's, he said, we got 400 people that work here. He said, I don't pay nobody. They're not working for money. They're not working for money. So while he coming in, he said, he got one dude on the unicycle running through, another dude flipping through in the clown He said, whatever they love to do, that's what they do all day. 
And here at the end of the day, we get the creative idea from the thing. So while he's sitting there talking, he said, all we do is whatever they want to do. He said, I pay for the food, and I pay for whatever they want to do. So if they're hungry, whatever we eat, I'm going to pay for that. Whatever event we got going on, that's going to keep the creative juices flowing at all times. I'm going to pay for it. Now while he's talking, here come the dude that on Google. You know Google? Yeah. He, he, go, he popped up. Like, hey, you doing something serious. Man, you touching. I didn't take the status, and in nine months, a hundred million people that joined Facebook in nine months. Boy, so I got a billion dollars cash for Facebook right now. A billion. A billion cash. And guess what? He said, man, y'all ain't even seen what Facebook can do. He turned it down. Well, our faith come back. Hear about the word. You got to hear it for the revelation. Don't you know it's one revelation that changed your life? One revelation why it should take you all around the world. It ain't necessarily preaching. It's the thing you love to do. It's the thing that's inside of you. So I'm looking for somebody that when my baby leave, they baby leave. The baby got to leave. And my baby leaving and your baby ain't leaving, you ain't the one. I'm sorry. Y'all here because our baby leaving. Y'all right. here because of the, I good. Nobody can preach. I can't even preach. They're good. You hear? Because of destiny. Yes. Yes. Destiny. Yes. Destiny. Don't get it twisted. That is bigger than the church. Yes. Stop being confused about this ain't no church. It's bigger than the church. Right. Amen. God trying to do something greater. Yes. We are the church. Wherever I show up, I am the church. Yes. I ain't caught up on no building. It's a time and a season. But I got to be tuned in. So I got to be tuned in. I got to be on God's channel. Not the world's channel. God's channel. For well, the heart of his people is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing. Read it again. For the heart of this people. The heart of this people. Is waxed gross. Oh my God. And their ears are dull of hearing. Okay. And their eyes have they closed. My God. Lest they should see with their eyes and heart with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Read it from the Amplified. For the heart, the understanding, the soul of this people has grown dull. Mm. Stupid, mm. hardened, mm. and calloused. My God. And their ears are heavy and hard of hearing. And they have shut tight their eyes so that they may not perceive mm. and have knowledge and become acquainted with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their souls and turn to me and be converted that I may heal them. My God. See, you got to be listening. You can't be hard. See, see, the presence of God it's so sacred that when we come into the presence, we put them a pen and a pad every time we come into the presence of God. Why? Because I don't know what he's going to say. And see, I'm going to be tuned in. And I, I can't do it but write the scripture down. But I might not have time to check it out. But I got to keep a pen and a pad because heaven is going to talk. Yeah, to me. And faith, right to me, make it personal. And faith, come out here. Yes. So I got to hear what God is saying to me. Come on now. Now, why do I read my Bible? Why do I got to read my Bible? Because when I read his mind, I can hear his voice. Yes. When I read his mind, the Bible is the mind of Christ. That's the mind of God. So when I read his mind, guess what? I can hear his voice. Why? Well, God know what you're talking about. Why? Because we're communicating. I like that. See? When it's talking about Holy Communion, it ain't talking about no crackers and juice. It ain't talking about that. Holy Communion is on your face. I commune with the Holy Spirit. But if you ain't too deep, you'll think it's crackers and juice. We have a communion on where the crackers and juice is. We say you ain't tuned in. Crackers and juice is an option. It's not mandatory. So don't get twisted, because we broke the crackers and juice out. We in communion at 5 a.m. Yes. 
faith come back here and hear about the word of God. Glory to God. Come on, let's go to 2 Timothy. We got to grow in the word, saints. Because see, God is going to give you some instructions. God going to give you some instructions. And if you where you're supposed to be, you'll be sitting around trying to ask God, did he say, God, say that again. And you'll be missing your blessing. Right, right. So you got to pack right. light and move fast. Right, right. You really got to get to that place where when God speaks something to your spirit, one time, you be gone. Yes, yes. That's the place I got to get you to. I'm gone. If I think I heard God, yes. <laughs> Well, because the fast I move, the fast he move. Yeah. It's just that. Yeah. The fast I obey, the fast that he'll manifest. I'm still sitting there talking about, was that God? Did God I said, go now. Was that God? Did somebody, Miss Mary will pull up telling you what God told her. And then she went got the thing. Yeah. You sit there wrestling with your hearing. Hearing. Wow. Oh, can't, be, you can't be slow now. The slow Look. stuff got to go. Come on now. The slow stuff got to go. Woo. You got to be wide open. And that's why, I don't know if y'all been knowing, I've been praying for discernment, that your discernment yes. go way up here. Yes. Go in, go in. 2 Timothy 3. That's good. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, read verse 16 and 17. Thank you. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Okay. And is profitable. Oh my God. And is profitable. That means I gain. That means I win. Mm -hmm. That means I leave the table with something yeah. tangible. Yeah. It is profitable. Yeah. All scripture is given under the inspiration of God. And it is profitable. See? That's why I need an ink pen every time I go into the presence of God. Because well, yeah. it's profitable. For doctrine? But if you think your job is profitable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You think working in extra 80 hours is profitable. Come on, ladies. Yeah. All scripture is given by inspiration of God uh -huh. and is profitable for, for doctrine. That's teaching. Reproof. That's rebuke. Correction. That's to get it right. Instruction. That's so you can obey. And in righteousness. Verse 17. That the man of God may be perfect, uh -huh. thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So it says all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it is profitable mm -hmm. for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction. So that's a fourfold effect that the word has on you every time you come in his presence. Wow. Now, the same word, somebody said the same word. Same word. Different people. Different. And it's doing a different thing. Let me, let me help you. Listen to the word. And it's giving him doctrine. He might be getting teaching. Doctrine is teaching. So he might be getting teaching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss Wanda might be we've been to the same word now. Right. But she getting rebuked through the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, we listen to the same word. Somebody else getting correction from the word. All right. All right. All right. But all of us, say all of us, all of us should lead with instruction from the word. All of us should leave with instruction. Do y'all see that? Yeah. Read verse 17. Why? Now why? Read verse 17. That the man of God may be perfect. Uh-huh. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So we got to be perfect. We got to be perfect. So I got to get my teaching. I got to get my rebuke. I got to get my correction. And I got to have an instruction. Every time you come to presence, there's a fourfold effect that's taking life. Taking a effect in your life. That's it. From this scripture. That's it. That's good. Now, if you ain't listening to nothing, how are you gonna get correction? Wow. If you just just in there, I paying attention, how are you gonna get rebuked? In other words, you might be doing something, thinking you're doing it the right way, but doing it the wrong way. But if I wanna sit up under the faith, which comes right here, how am I gonna get it right? That's it. That's good. See, That's good. See, God is moving. This is a season of discovery in your life. And God said everything in your life in this season is going to line up. You're going to tap into your true God-ordained 
identity and your way of grace. Yes. All right, that's 